let me just get my sound effects going because they seem to be fun. And here we go. Beautiful. There you go. <laughs> sound effects are on. All right. Um, is Cynthia with us? I am here. Okay, awesome, Cynthia. Um, this is a real special treat for me. Um, I got introduced uh, to Cynthia not too long ago in, in one of the groups that we're in together. And uh, we were talking about doing a hangout. And then through a weird chain of events, um, it actually happened. And the hangout that we're doing is right here now live. So um, Cynthia, uh, uh, her, her site is ohsopinteresting.com. And she's unbelievable. If, if you're into Pinterest like I am, um, you know she's a true talent out there. So Cynthia, please just take it away. It's all for you right now. And a little applause. Oh, that's great. Thanks so much, Adam. Well, I'm really excited for this opportunity to get to talk to people about how they can use Pinterest to help keep things organized and streamlined through the holidays. Um, for me, Pinterest just kind of took over my world so much that um, I started a business based on it, you know. Uh, so it was really had a big impact on my life this past couple of years. I found that I was saying Pinterest over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And I found a lot of ways that have helped, you know, me around the house, have helped me, you know, buy things, have helped me in so many different ways. I think it's just an amazing tool. Hey, um, Cynthia, so, just sure. one thing before you go a little further. Is is your camera on? Because it is. It is. is John, do you see Cynthia? I just see the um the circle. Uh, John, you're on mute. Yeah, I just see Cynthia's avatar. Okay. Um, let me see if I can mess with my bandwidth here. We are getting through, um, about to have a crazy winter storm here. Oh, gosh. So I don't know if that may be affecting <laughs> my internet service right now. Everybody is is hunkering down and getting ready for this crazy ice storm we're about to get. Any changes? No, it's possible. It, it, it's been popping on and off a little bit for... Uh, a few people. So okay, yeah. yeah. Well, we can just roll with thing. it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I just thought we'd try a simple setting. Okie doke. Okay, um, I'm gonna try sharing my screen and see if that does anything. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we get a different response with that. Do you see my screen? Uh, no, still no. selling you. Okay. All right. Well, I do have a few slides, and um, I'll get these to you, Adam, and, and they're really just basically visuals uh, to help guide us along through, you know, this this process of, of you know, using Pinterest through the holidays to help keep things organized and simple. Um, hopefully this, this pops up and the bandwidth gets better and behaves. <laughs> okay, go. But we'll, we'll just give it a try. Go um, for it. There we go. Maybe I turned it down. I took off the HD. Uh, maybe that helps. Okay. Um, Just let me roll know. on through. Go right ahead. All right. Well, um, as Adam said, I'm Cynthia from Oso oh Pinteresting, and I do help businesses um, really learn how to utilize Pinterest to market their business and how to grow their following and improve their reach with Pinterest. But before that, I did have just a passion for Pinterest in my life, and it made a huge difference. Um, when I got started onto Pinterest, I was a little bit hesitant because it's like, who has time for that? Who who really needs another social network? I've got too much to do, but I found that Pinterest was really helpful, and especially during the holidays, there are a lot of different ways that you can use Pinterest, um, whether it be for inspiration of what to do or what to make or where to go. There are so many different ways, um, and I really was attracted to that because you can't use very many other social networks in that way, actually. I can't think of another one that you can use in that way, and today I'm going to show you a few ways that you can use it to maybe kind of help relieve the stress, maybe give you some ideas, maybe keep things organized and solve some problems for you. Um, one of the most powerful tools on Pinterest is the Pinterest search box. Um, and I, I don't think it's utilized enough. Some people, when they get on Pinterest, they kind of get overwhelmed with all the pictures and all the things and that type of thing. But use the Pinterest search box to really help you find what you are looking for. Um, let's say you're looking for a specific recipe to really wow the kids at their school party, you know. Um, you know, so search for those types of things. Kids, recipes 
recipes for you know school holiday parties or or the recipe for you know the Christmas party that you're going to be having at the house or at work or something like that. Um, you can find all sorts of quick and easy recipes. And the thing that I really like about Pinterest is that most of the images that you find on Pinterest will take you to the source, will show you the ingredients and that type of thing. And one thing I want you to keep in mind as we're kind of going throughout all of this, and it, it kind of comes up a little bit later as well, is that the Pinterest mobile app is so useful. You don't have to be tied to your computer. You don't have to print out the recipe from, you know, what the recipe site or the blog you go to. You can have it in all, all in just one easy spot with the Pinterest mobile app. So let's say you find a recipe, uh, you know, for one of those situations, and you go out and you are shopping in the store. You can pull up the recipe right away, get all of the ingredients you need. You have your list. You have it all there. And, you know, that way you can shop and get it all done in one step. Um, speaking of recipes, um, you know, a lot of times when we do have these holiday parties, we make something so amazing. Um, people will ask you, where did you get that recipe from? Where did you get that idea from? Or, or you know, if you made a project or, you know, maybe made some handmade cards or, you know, something else for, for the holidays. Well, then you can just guide people back to your Pinterest board where you pinned it. Say, hey, you know, if you, all the recipes, you know, for this party, for this event, whatever it might be, my ideas for my decorations for my home are all on my Christmas board or, or whatever board that you decide to, to make it for on your Pinterest account and you can just guide them there. Um, you could also use your Pinterest boards to help you plan events um, and this is one of the things that has made Pinterest so so popular. Um, you can get all your ideas, your recipes, your decor ideas, everything, and just kind of have a vision board of what you want this event to be like. You know, this year, do you want to have, you know, a, a red and, and traditional red and green theme? Do you want to have the blue theme? Do you want to mix it up and get into some funky colors this year? You can plan it all out way in advance. And, you know, a lot of these things are really, you know, deep into the holiday season now, but if you start now, maybe this will kind of build up for next year. Um, and you can kind of just use it to plan all of these things ahead of time, save yourself some time when it comes to the event, and you'll have everything planned out already. If you're working in collaboration with somebody, let's say you and you know you're doing something for your kids school or something like that, you and the other room mom um, are working on planning something together, you can join together on a group board um, on Pinterest where it's a collaborative board where you can work together to see um, what each other's going to bring, kind of talk about, you know, maybe themes or ideas, um, you know, okay, well, you know, let's say I'm working with Susie. Susie, I'll make these cookies and I will bring this and that and help keep it all organized in one place. And once again, you have the mobile app when you're out and about getting all the things ready, um, you have it there with you and it's handy. Now, what did she say she was going to bring? You won't have to worry about that because it'll all be there and in one place. Right. Um, are you, I'm sorry, did you say oh, something? Oh, no, I was just, I was saying right. That's, a, that's oh. <laughs> right on target with that. I love that idea. Good, good, good. I hope my screen has come up. If not, I'll share these slides with you and you can send them out here. Thanks. Um, afterwards for everybody that wants them. Um, and of course, you know, Pinterest is the place for inspiration and aspiration. A lot of times we come across those friends and family members that we just don't know what they want. They seem to have everything and then you go and ask them, what would you like for the holidays or what do you need or that type of thing? And they're like, yeah, I don't need nothing. You know, I know that's my mom's favorite answer, you know, but, you know, come Christmas Day, you know, for me, I have to have, you know, I want to give her something. I want to give her something that I know she'll really enjoy. Um, and last Christmas, or actually Christmas before last, um, Soon after I started on Pinterest, I guess it was, I saw, you know, I went to my mom's Pinterest boards that year, and that was one of the first times Pinterest really, really did influence what I bought. Um, I went to her Pinterest boards and looked at outfits that she had pinned. I found a couple of outfits that looked pretty similar. It's like, okay, she's pinned this more than once. Chances are that she likes this style of thing. Um, unfortunately, the links at that time, and this is when Pinterest was really starting to get rolling, the links at that time were for products that hadn't, you know, it were they're only available overseas or um, weren't available at all anymore. But with that inspiration, I was able to use that to know exactly what type of outfit would be best for her that she would like. She's pinned it more than once. And sure enough, um, I gave it to her Christmas morning and she loved it. I printed out her Pinterest pin and included that in the gift package to, you know, kind of let her know why and, you know, how it all came together. I bought her sweater, I bought her blouse, the bracelet, the earrings, the necklace, everything to kind of recreate that outfit and she loved it. Um, and most people use Pinterest in that way. A lot of people really do. Um, 
there's so many boards. If you look, if you search for the word want, you will come up with board after board, pin after pin of people that just say want. Um, and, you know, so Pinterest is really a good place to find out to, to what people are really interested in, what they like, and that type of thing. Um, as far as shopping for friends and family, throughout the year, or even right now, you can pin the gifts that you are planning to get for them to secret boards. So just in case your friends or family members um, come by your Pinterest account and you know that, you know, let's say you're shopping in an online store, a store with, you know, that has a website, you can pin a product that you think would be the perfect gift for somebody and, you know, hopefully they have the purchase online option. You can pin from Amazon and all sorts of different places and then just buy Buy it when you're ready to buy it, um, and it keeps it all organized. You keep your own list there, and secret boards keep them hidden. I know for me and my kids, it's kind of been a challenge to keep the gifts hidden until the day, and they kind of spoil their own surprise. But you know, kids are that way, and you know, um, they'll they'll go seek things out. So I. Keeping a list for me of things that I've already purchased, I've always been nervous. You know, will they find it in my purse? Where do I hide it? Where do I hide it? So I don't forget where it's at. Um, so uh, that has been really, really helpful for me. You can also use Pinterest to comparison shop. So let's say um, a family member, you know, like my husband has, you know, this really high ticket item. He wants a new camera or something. I can use Pinterest to go and comparison shop around the different online stores to see who has the best deal, who has a coupon code that I can use, how much it's going to be for shipping, um, how much it's going to be, you know, for for the weight or the delay and what accessories are and aren't included. I can pin these to a, a secret board again and have it all organized. And once I've done my research over, you know, a couple of days or a couple of weeks or however long it takes me, I can go back and look and see, hey, okay, well, the best deal overall is this place. I save myself some money and I can just buy it there. I know when it'll be here. Um, Another thing, speaking of kids, I do also have a hard time remembering where I put things because I have to be so creative with all four kids digging around the house and, <laughs> and that type of thing. So I can take a picture of my purchase with my phone on my camera, uh, uh, I guess the camera on my phone, through Pinterest and pin it to a board with a reminder of where I hid that. Um, really easy to do and that way I know that I hid this present for this person in that closet or, or wherever creative place I need to go. Um, another thing you can use Pinterest for is to help you with travel planning. So if you're taking any kind of trip with the family over the holiday season, a lot of times you have to you know, you know, kind of select hotels to stay at, what are the options, you can use Pinterest for that. What are the local events and attractions? Where do you want to go and eat? Nothing's worse than getting to your destination and spending a half an hour just talking to each other. Where do you want to eat? I don't know. I don't know. Have it planned out. And now Pinterest has place pins where you can actually map this out on your phone before you even get there. So you have the places decided. You get into your Pinterest app. You click on the pin, and it'll take. It'll map you there. How easy is that? Yeah. And my one of my most favorite ways to use Pinterest when things are getting hurried, and this happens all year round for everybody, um, not just at the holidays, I will go to Pinterest and just use it to relax. I find pictures of beaches and you know just fabulous destinations that I just go get lost in and I take a mini vacation on Pinterest. Very nice, very nice. Let, let your mind wander to all those beautiful pins that people put up there, those exotic beach locations. Oh my gosh, they're exactly. awesome. Yes. You know, I, I, I love what you were talking about, about you know finding the right gift for somebody and going into their Pinterest board, because you're right, everybody has like their dream board, or mine is called like cool stuff to buy, or things that I want, and um, exactly. that's a great, great tip. I never even thought about doing that. <laughs> um, but that that's just wonderful. I, I hope a lot of people resonated with that thought. But I mean, what what better than looking into the mind of somebody for the things that they're interested in and and focusing in on something that they like and giving it to them? I mean, what a great gift. Oh, yeah, I think yeah. so. You know, I mean, they know what they want. They've obviously expressed interest in it. How can you go wrong? You know. Right. Right. No doubt about it. Well, that was just uh, wonderful. And and, you, and you're right. You know, it's uh, Pinterest is so in, inspiring, and 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 people, it's aspiration and in, inspiration and Pinterest and <laughs> all those different <laughs> uh, names with Pinterest in it. Um, but it, it's wonderful, and you're really amazing on there. And uh, I I loved having you on with us today. I hope all the people that uh, that were here really appreciate appreciate the power of Pinterest because it's unbelievable and, and you know it better than anybody else. Oh, well, thank so, you. Thanks so well, much. It was a great, it was fun. I enjoyed yeah, it. Thank you. Thanks. No problem, Cynthia. Okay, so let me just give you a round of applause.
<laughs> okay, that was great, Cynthia. I'll talk to you real soon, and I appreciate again that you're coming on. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, no problem.